We're going fishing, that's right. G'day guys and welcome back to another episode with First Mate Adventures. Uh, as you can tell, this is not our usual vessel. We've uh, we've commandeered my old man's boat. Uh, our one is currently out of action. We're getting another motor. So uh, we're out fishing with the old man's boat today um, and hopefully we're gonna get some fish. The plan obviously today guys is to catch something for dinner, but I'm gonna show you how to do it. So we're gonna go out and probably target whiting, brim, flathead, that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, we'll show you the step-by-step -step process on how to do it. Rigs, knots, line, and, uh, and obviously catching bait. So stay tuned and let's get into it. You excited? So first things first, we've got to go and find our bait. So we're just going to pull up on this little sandbar here and uh, we're going to pump for some nippers. Uh, we've got our pump on and our uh, and our little net. So uh, yeah, we'll get some nippers and then we'll be able to go and catch the rest of the species. So yeah, I'll show you how to do it when we get ashore. Mwah. Driving. You're driving, okay. I don't know if you can see this, but Mother Nature's taking a bit of a turn just here on the coast. If you have a look there, that's a water spout starting to form. That's like a tornado on the water. Daddy. Yeah. I, I know. You might just have to wait a minute, mate. But look at that thing start to form. We'll just keep an eye on it, see if it touches down. That looks awesome. That's that thing right there. Awesome. Just an update on the old water spout. It's starting to fizzle out now. But how cool was that? Starting to build. No. No, not cool. You didn't want to see the tornado? Yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous over there. Bye. And rain cloud. <laughs> right on top of us. Oh, well, we'll give this a minute to pass. There's not much in it. All right, so there's a break in the weather, which means that we can go hunt for our nippers. Got a little man. I already put a. Yep. Come on. I already put a couple of rods out just to uh, see what's around. But I reckon we head over to this creek over here and look for these nipper holes. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah. There. Yeah, come on. We're looking over here. What you got, monkey? What's that? 
That's my footprint, buddy. We're having a very tough time on nippers. There's only one, two in the whole pot at the moment. A lot of sand crabs, or uh, what do they call them? Sorry, crabs. But that's it. Might have to take a few of those for bait instead. I've never really used them, though I know people that do. What's up? Ready and pop. You drive. All right, so the tides just aren't right for us to uh, to be able to get nippers. It's a little bit too low, so we'll uh, go and entertain ourselves and do something else. Uh, um, might even target squid. <laughs> what are you doing? No, you're doing it all wrong. Turn left. Yep, that's it. Go other way. That way. Yeah, that way. Good boy. He's gonna have his own boat. Well, he's already got his own boat. He's gonna be up and running and driving himself around very soon at this rate. Biking, biking. Bouncing, bouncing, that's right. And all right, we're gonna go and try something a little bit different, wait for this tide to come in a little bit, and then we'll uh, go back to the original plan. So yeah, stay tuned. All right, guys, all I'm doing is using my sounder. You see all that there, that's bait. And I'm just dropping a metal slug through uh, and just cranking it up and seeing what happens. So let's just do it, switch to the other camera. Oh, there we go. Yes, that works, I can't believe that worked. <laughs> All right, Taylor. That's what? Taylor. Yeah, Taylor. Isn't that usually we have to um try this off? Surprising myself. Oh, that's good markings on the sound too. All right, I've got the GoPro on now, so let's see if I can do it with the camera on. Chances? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Standard. Yeah. Standard. All right, let's see. Ready, 20 meters of water. Bait is, the screen's absolutely lit up with bait. Yep, 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 I'm on. Oh, no, I've dropped him. Yep, I'm on again. Oh, no, I've dropped him. <laughs> Alright, tide started to come in. As you can see, we've already got a couple, but those little holes there are what we're looking for. So, might just prop you up. See if this will work. Okay. Oh, yep, right there. Straight away, look at that beautiful one. Oh, now crap. Oh, he's quick, he's quick. Okay, let's see it. There's a little soldier crab. All 
close you can see guys big difference from earlier so these are the uh what's he soldier crab holes and you see how big they are compared to the um what's he holes which are those there so anyway right, we'll just pump a few more but that's the idea anyway and that's how quick it's supposed to be to be able to get some nippers we've got enough for what we need to do which is ample we're here on our sand flat now i'm just going to make hunters some lunch and then we'll get stuck into trying to chase these whiting i'll show you the rigs and how we do it and we'll go from there so stay tuned what are you doing mate we need the water we need the water not too long now all right guys figure i might as well just show you how to set up the old uh the old whiting rig we've got hunter is having a bit of a feed at the moment so you can uh see me for a minute so, buy yourself these little kits, you can buy them from BCF, or basically any tackle store you can buy these kits from. They come with pretty much everything you need. So first thing we need is a little running sinker, like so. Just feed that onto your main line. Then we need a swivel. And that's gonna stop the sinker from running down to your hook, because you don't want that. You want this bait to be sitting nice and free. So just a normal knot, guys. I like to use this knot, which is Three to four wraps around your finger. Pull it up. Nice little figure eight, slide it down. Bit of wet so it doesn't burn. That's it. Oh. Yep, I was ready. You want more? Still hungry. Here you go, Buster. Where are you? All right, guys, that was step one. Step two. What you need, just grab yourself, these will come in the kit. So this is a bonus line for whiting. Uh, what's this, eight pound. So just get this a eight pound mono. Tie them to the other side of the swivel. This will be your hook side. Same knot that I used last time, guys. I don't know what it's called. I can thank Dean from Sea Lord for that knot. So one, two, three, get in. That's it. Scissors are right here, I was still using teeth. All right guys, you want probably about a meter or so of the eight pound. Snip that off. Now, in your kit, you've got these little glow beads, or these little red beads, you're gonna use those. So, I normally put three to four on my rigs, so, one, two, three. Oh, drop that one. Small bloody holes. Three. That'll do. Now, using these red long shank hooks, guys, because of the baits that we're using. So these all come in the kit. Nice and simple. Tie it in, same knot, nothing hardcore. You're right to go. He's still digging for food. <laughs> That's it. All right, so your bait, you've either got your tweed bait bloodworms that you can buy from BCF if you don't catch them, or your nippers that we just pumped out of the ocean. So, nice and easy. Locate the hook. There he is. Going to go straight through the back end of him. And basically, like the good old days when you're fishing with worms, slide him up. I like to turn my hook around at the end and just pull it through the back of the head so he hangs straight like that. And that's basically it. We'll get him out there and get some fish. Well, it's certainly become a waiting game. Not so much luck on the old whiting front at the moment, but at least Hunter's practicing his winding. Got a burly trail going, so hopefully, fingers crossed, things change before the sun goes down. Otherwise, we might just miss out today. But that's all right. We're still out here having fun, still having an adventure, so we just keep going. Oh, I got me! That's it, son. You wind that in, mate. Go. Go, 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 go. Oh, I can't me. Is it a shark? You're doing so well, mate. I 
Well, it's definitely getting near the uh, the eleventh hour with not too much exciting things happening. Um, yeah, real slow on the old fish front, but that is fishing. That rig that I showed you, I used to catch the flathead out the front as well. So, you know, it's pretty universal. It's mainly set up for whiting, but when you fish it right, you can pretty much catch anything with it. We're probably going to do this for like another 20 minutes, and I think we're going to have to pull the pin, unfortunately. Um, so unless anything exciting happens, I guess, uh, yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. So stay tuned, I guess. And there's the exciting thing that happened. We only finished saying, you know, two minutes ago that we might have to call it a day, but here's a fish. Hey, Hunter. What? Come here. Stand up. Yeah, on this. Let me let me put this in position. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, jump up. Get him, have a look. Go. One, Bubba. Go, buddy. Go, go, go. Oh, hey. One, 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 one. Go, 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 go. And up. Oh, he's running. Go, one. 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 There you go. Oh, Go, go, buddy. Oh, he is no, come on, he's just here. Go, go, wind. Wind. Who's going to help him with the rod? I have no idea what this is. Got a bit of body weight behind it. Go, buddy, turn the wheel. Go. Go, wind, wind, wind. Wind. It's only like, I think that's only like six pound line, so it's very light. Can't see the fish yet. Go, Buster, hold the rod and wind. Go, go, go. Keep going. Keep going. Well, that's, I don't know if you can see that on the sounder with a stretch, I'm just not letting go of the rod. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. Come on. Okay, I'll help. Dad's gonna help you. All right. Okay, buddy. Yeah. Look. Hold it. Oh shit! It's a good snapper. It's a snapper. Look at it. That's a good snapper for the river, buddy. Oh, oh. Oh, sorry about the camera, guys, but that's on uh, that whiting rig that I showed you guys. Where are you, Mr. Old Snapper? Oh, and there he goes. Oh, he's back. Oh, tried to comfort lift him. Wow! Woohoo! Snapper! Hi, Snapper! Hi, Snapper! Hey, yeah, that's his mouth. <laughs> Good work, buddy! Are we checking for size? I think you might have dinner. Well done! Has that rod up the back there gets a rice too? Ooh. Witching hour, eh? Uh, Alright, guys. Um, Hunter's on the phone to mum, bragging about the fish that he's just nailed. I've just cast this bait back out and this just thing got absolutely inhaled, so... Hey buddy, I, I don't think this is going to be as big as yours. You've done well on your fish, mate. Nearly 35 centimetres. I'll tell you what, it's not as big, but... Oh, it's another snapper, though. Oh, God! Look at this one! Look at this one! <laughs> uh, 
How's that for a river snapper? That's unbelievable. That is so cool. Oh, that guy's not going to go legal, so we're going to send him home. That hook will rust out in a couple of days. Hunter's still talking to mum, bragging about the fish. That went just under 30, guys. So where we are, there's supposed to be 30 for legal. Hunter's is nearly 35, so that's dinner, but this one's going to go home. So thanks, buddy. Thanks for the fight. See you later. Insane. Absolutely insane. Something to be said about Burley. Just got the next fish hooked up. The sound is lit, lit up with fish. Another little snapper. Hunter's is still beating me with the record, but I'm doing okay. Here, one. Go. Go, buddy. Go. One! Go, go, go! On my? Yeah, on you! Go, buddy! Go, mate! Go, go, go! That rod's about to go off, too! <laughs> yes, it's all happening! Come on! What are you giving up? Okay. Oh, you want me to do it? Okay. Oh, I think he's just here. There he is, ready? Woohoo! Them now you've caught so many just because you outfished your dad. Go, matey. Yeah, go, go, go. Almost there. There's the sinker. One. 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 No. Okay, what do we got? Oh, another, oh, you cheeky shizen. Look at this thing. Look at this. Look at that for a fat, fat, fat snapper. Oh, mate, I reckon that it almost got legal too. <laughs> He's really rubbing it into the old man, isn't he? <laughs> Remember, grasshopper, I supposed to teach you, now you teach me, okay? <laughs> But this, you're, you're killing me. You're killing me, buddy. How good is this? I know. Oh. <laughs> what? What? I'm going. Look, I've got to go because you you keep out fishing me with 30 plus centimeter snapper. I'm doing it. All right. I can get more baits in the water. This is crazy. This is turned from a very average bait. 
Well, as you can see, guys, when we're out and about, we do like to do a lot of Facebook Live as well. So if you want to stay up to date with what we're doing on the day, then get over to our Facebook page and give it a like. Make sure you... Thought I just heard one of the reels. Make sure you get involved, and that way, you know, you can check it out straight away. Otherwise, you're going to wait for the YouTube videos that come up, like this one. Anyway, here's some advice. All right, this rod's now getting harassed. So what, what the trick is, guys, is what we do is we're using those whiting rigs, uh, but we're running really light drags so that the fish can pick it up and just swim off with it. Because I don't have any bait runner style reels. There he is. Whoa. Feels definitely like something's there. going to be a small one. Yeah, there's definitely a fish there. Whoop. Just a little one. Ah! Oh, hell no. What? Are you okay? Uh, yeah, mate, there's a shark. <laughs> there is a shark sitting under the side of the boat. What a shark! Yeah. Look at him! 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 Look there he is, right there. <laughs> How cool is that? As quickly as the bait hit the water, we're into another one. We're into another something anyway. My face! My face! Rod, really? Pretty, pretty. And this is why it feels odd. Look at that. Look at that. Now for the uneducated. For the uneducated, kids know how to use trim motors. This is what they call a flying gurnard. Absolutely gorgeous fish, a little bit undersized. Or they don't have a legal size, but a little bit too small to eat. But absolutely gorgeous, look at him. Look at the wings. Whoop, 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 whoop. Good buddy. Hi, fishy. Wonder if he was over there for a shot. Oh. Look at that. Bait in the water, you're just hooking up. Arthur, do you want to wind this one in? Nope. No. No? It's back away, Dad. I mean, I might have an opportunity to outfish you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. It does feel like a solid fish, though. No. Definitely got some body weight about it. Now, again, guys, this is just bait for fishing. Um, I'm not using the. Uh, I'm not using the nippers that we caught earlier, I've released them. So this is just quite literally uh, yakas. I caught one yakka when we were out in front, so I'm using him. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
towards a monster. Monster Freddy. Oh God. Oh no. Okay, Dad. I could have beat you. <laughs> that thing was huge. If that was an 800 long, I'd give the game away. Okay, Dad. Okay, Dad. Mate, you know what? The fish earned his freedom. The day's drawing to a close. I've still got two rods out, but it's time to head home. It's ridiculous. The sounder is just, look at this. Look, this is just off tap. I've never seen this in here before. And it is just unbelievable. So on that note, I think we're gonna leave it there. Guys, thanks for watching. If you wanna see more, make sure you click that subscribe button below. We'd appreciate, look, there we go, fish on. We appreciate the support. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna deal with this. Uh, and guys, we'll see you on the next adventure. Okay, go that way. <laughs>